got him. God dang! That is a big... Okay. Got him. Got him. Got him. Go. We'll get him. We'll get there. We're not leaving until we get one. Got something. Oh, is it a large one? It's a bat. Oh, let's go! Species number three. Oh, there you go. Let's go. In the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna spin this wheel right here and wherever it lands on, we have to catch the first flight there from the Atlanta airport right here. But we cannot leave until we catch at least a minimum of three different fish species. It is currently 10.33 p.m. and we're gonna spin this wheel really quick. The places on this spin wheel are the most popular flown to destinations from Spirit Airlines. We have California, Miami, Puerto Rico, Texas, New York, and Colorado. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I personally hope it lands on New York because I'm trying to go catch some of them big smallmouth that I've always heard about. Where do you want this spin wheel to land on? I wanna go to Colorado so I can go skiing. You wanna go skiing in Colorado mm -hmm. after we catch fish? Or before. Either one? Either one. Skiing sounds really fun, I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh. I do not think. Oh, oh, oh. I do not think that we're gonna be skiing where we're going. Oh god. Yeah, we're not gonna be skiing where we're going. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so it lands on Miami. Okay. Well, at least the weather should be nice there. Yeah. It'll be a little warmer than Colorado and New York yeah. this time of year. I want to go skiing down the Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If this video gets 5,000 likes, we're here now at the Atlanta airport at 10.40 p.m. If this video gets 5,000 likes, we will do this again, but we will walk into the airport and let a stranger pick where we fly. What do you think about that? Oh, and maybe I won't put like a, a Florida destination on there or something like that. I'll only put like Northern destinations yeah. where we can go skiing. Yeah. You good with that? Okay, yeah. 5,000 likes and we'll make that happen. We literally didn't pack anything except this one bag right here. We have like one change of clothes and all camera gear and batteries and stuff like that. So, like I said, we cannot leave until we catch a minimum three fish species. Also, random thought, do you think we should invite Trey? I think we should. If we're going to Miami, Trey's not far. Yeah, Trey's not that far. He's in Tallahassee. He's not that far from Miami. I think we're going to invite Trey a little bit later in this video. But with that said, we got to get in there, get to the Spirit booking counter. We got to get our tickets to Miami and we got to fly out. So we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle and remain seated until we have our seat belts fixed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just landed here in Miami. And the goal, like I said, the goal is to catch at least three different species and one really, really big fish. We're gonna have 24 hours to complete this challenge and the timer starts now. I'm thinking we start off, we go fish some canals, some ponds. It's also really quick. It's also 7.19 in the morning. We call a uh, 5 a.m. I think we actually, took off at like 4.50 a.m. So we caught like a red-eye flight, so I'm extremely tired, but that's besides the point. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit some canals, some ponds. Have you ever went pier fishing? No. So we're definitely gonna do some pier fishing also. We'll add that in. There's a whole bunch of different species and some really, really big fish you can catch from the pier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first things first, we had to come over here to Bass Pro Shops. It was extremely, extremely busy in there. And I didn't want to bore you guys with walking around and grabbing the stuff that we needed. It wasn't like a regular in-store fishing, shopping challenge type deal. Like I, we, we went in there and we put a lot of thought and effort into uh, what we came out with. So I went with a Vanford 3000 and April went with a uh, SLX 151 XG or HG. Yeah, the high gear. So uh, the 150 and the 151, right? What does that mean? A 150 is a regular right-handed reel. 151 means it's a left-handed reel. So April put together, we can actually take these off now that we're out of the store really quick. It's super windy, so sorry, kind of. 
April went with the SLX 151 HG and a six foot six medium heavy Bass Pro Tournament Special. These rods, if you guys have seen the, you know, any of the videos in the past six months or so, actually really in the past year, uh, we swear by these $50 Tournament Special rods from Bass Pro and they come with a really good warranty because they are from Bass Pro, they are Bass Pro's brand. So 6'6", medium heavy with the SLX reel and I am a sucker. I gotta take this off real quick. I'm a sucker for the Vanford. I don't know why I still, to this day, had never got a Vanford, but here we are. And that was pretty cool. I finally got myself a, a Vanford 3000. Finally. Wow, I think he overspooled the heck out of that, actually. So we're going to end up taking some of that line off. Oh, sick, dude. Brand new truck. Sick. So I went with a, what did I go with? So I went with a seven foot medium heavy because we're gonna be chasing after a whole bunch of different fish species and doing a little bit of like saltwater pier type fishing, trying to catch as many species as we can and big fish. So, you wanna show them what baits we got? Yes, I will. First thing we got from Bass Pro, water. And a big old bag of baits. Big old bag, <laughs> big of, big old bag of baits. First thing, we got this because we forgot I was in the car. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with a little pond hopping fanny pack action. Got some leader line. Yeah. Line. Yeah, more line. We got some speed worms. That's for bass. Another speed worm. Two different color speed worms. That's strictly for largemouth. Okay. And I thought I got, I found, oh yeah. And I found the Z-Crawls that the I The Z-Crawls, yeah, yeah when you like were this, killing yeah. it the other day and I was sucking. Yeah, I like the yeah, Z-Crawls. Right. Okay, this is for the bass, got that for the bass. Okay, y'all, got this for the, catch some peacocks on. The so. peacock bass, okay. So there's two species if we can yeah. catch them, hopefully. And then, oh. We got some horny toads in black. Those are for snakehead and largemouth, top water. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got a frog. A booyah. Booyah. Boop. Booyah. Booyah. Another booyah. The Ooh. mini booyah. Mini, yeah. mini snakehead booyah. Snakehead and largemouth. Uh, some jig heads. Mm, nice. How much did all of this cost? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, where does it say the cost? Five hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Five sixty-eight, huh? You really needed a new reel, didn't you? Yes, I did. I actually did need one that's smaller for my hands. I'm totally. Where are we at? Yeah, I'm totally just kidding. I actually wanted that Vanford, so that's what cost the most today. But now. Because somebody is bougie. No, I ain't bougie. I just wanted a really He's good reel bougie. that's going to last me a long time. Bougie. You know the Stratic that's on Trey's boat right now has caught like no joke between... It's caught fish all the way from northern Canada down to Key West. I guarantee that Stratic that I've had since 2016, I think, has got like 5,000 fish on it. Does it, it still I work? guarantee it. Yes, it works. Why you need a new one then? Well, it's, it's, it's a little crusty. I did drop in the ocean a couple times. Okay. But anyways... We've got everything we need. Now let's go to uh, spot number one and put the uh, Chevrolet legs and the Lamar to work. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh boys, we got the Vanford. I think there's a little too much line on there, but we will go for it. Go with it for now and just see kind of how it casts. God, mm, I'm so pumped to freaking use this thing. What are you gonna tie? Uh, you. I tied you on a little frog. Mm -hmm. And I also am probably gonna go. I'm gonna throw a frog as well. You gonna throw the big one or the little? Uh, I don't really know. I kind of. I want to. I'll throw the big one. And just Can like kind of. for you. Yeah, I'll just kind of see one? what's going on, and then we'll we'll create a little fanny bag pack and uh, adjust as needed. I'll actually put this. I'm gonna take this one with us. And ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. Oh, we don't wanna lose the receipt. All right, so we got some of these, and let's see, some of these, and the rest of this can go in the truck for now, and then we should be 
should be good. Yeah, it should be good. I like to trim the skirt on my frog. I'm actually going to do it in the bed of the truck so I don't make a mess on the ground. But I think the frog legs are just a little too long when they come straight out the box. I don't want to Watch out for snakes. Watch out for snakes. Oh, my God. All right. Watch. I'm too short to do this. So this... Oh, God. That hurt my... All right. So this is very down, which is not also not also a bad thing. So let's go see if we can just see something. What was it? But with it windy like this, like they they large mouth don't there mind. There is but... a large snakehead right here under me. Is there? Oh, I see that. He missed it again. Watch. No, 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 no. Fix mine if you can. Oh my God, that thing is so big. Got him. God dang. That is a big one. That is a big one. Oh, not the one. That is a joke. God, Jesus. Look at him death roll, look at him death roll. Oh, he broke me off. Oh my God, I did it and I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew I did that and I shouldn't have done it. Oh my God, that was the... Is that the biggest one you ever hooked? Nah. I've caught a couple that are bigger than that. What did you shoot on did? Grab the lawn. Huh? Just never grab the lawn. God. That's so tragic. God dang, man. I knew as soon as I freaking grabbed the lawn, I knew that I did the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. That was crazy though. That's the first one I've ever seen up like in person. Crazy. Definitely a top five. Would have been top five biggest for sure. Damn, that's crazy. You actually you seen it. He bit your frog, he bit my frog, he bit this. And that was you. I'm not even kidding when I tell you, you probably won't see another one that big. That's what hurts my heart the most. I ask. wanted to get a picture with that. I was going to set a picture. I was already thinking about getting a picture. I was like, I'm going to set a picture up. I'm going to record. So me and her both can be in it. At the third spot. I'm glad you tied me on something else. What do I got you? Oh, I don't know. You don't? Got him. Got him. God, let's go. Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh, we got a bag. Let's go, baby. Let's go. First fish after I lost. Hey, you gotta calm it down. I freaking lost the. Uh, I got a freaking 10 pound snakehead. It's a first fish for me on the brand new reel. It's a pretty good little uh, peacock bass. Let's freaking go. All right, boys, first fish of the trip. I lost a freaking 10 pound snakehead and then catch a peacock bass. So let's get this dude back and try to catch as many fish and species as we can. So species number one is down. Let's go. Did I? Did I? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, flipping. Oh, flipping. Oh, my God. That is a pretty peacock. That is a 
pretty much that I'm not holding it as too big. that <laughs> all right april doesn't want to hold her peacock this is a male because as you can see it's got a hump on his head like that a little soft fuzzy thing not fuzzy but a little soft thing but what a beautiful fish look how many dots are on his tail one two three four five six seven eight nine I like how he's doing this yeah look how strong his tail is yeah. oh my god no they're just pure they're just pure muscle but anyways awesome catch fish bump no not with a gopro with your hand goofy oh. <laughs> boop <laughs> Oh, all right, buddy. We'll get you back. All right. Thanks for playing, buddy. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Let's go. Good job. I did it all by myself. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, move. God, I think I see a snake there. Hang on. No shot. Is it? No, it's not, of course. Oh my God, it's two giant peacocks. Do you want a shot or do you want me to get a shot? Do you see them? Uh -huh. It's two good ones. Yeah. I'll what you want? I'll get it. You got it? It's Come stand right here. Or no, if you could see them from right there, stand over oh, there. Dang. Those are good ones. There you go, straight to him. Oh wait, just leave it to it. Leave, 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 leave. Oh shoot, look what you didn't see. Reel that straight to him. Drop it. What the heck? There's a sick one right there. You want to try to catch that sick one? See him right there? Mine sick one. Just give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. He might get it. I don't know. Let me call yes, it. <gasps> oh. Pop it real quick. No, it's not finished. For it. Got him. I didn't even mean to catch him right there for real. Oh my gosh. These things fight so hard. God. Look at the other one. Pitch, pitch your bait in right behind mine. Just drop your bait in right there. Drop your bait in. Like drop it in right there. Right here? Yes, like on my on the peacock. The other one's right here chasing him. There was like four right there that were chasing him. I didn't see any. Oh, Look at that hook set. The two that you've caught have been very pretty. And the two, the two that I've caught hasn't been so pretty. <laughs> but you can't. Pretty people catch pretty fish. That's true. That must be why I catch the ugly ones. I'm just kidding. You can't freaking beat catching these things, man. Look how the battle scars and everything. They're such cool looking fish, man. There you go, buddy. A little chunk of dunk. All right, let's go to the other side real quick. I didn't even mean to catch that right there for real. I didn't, even see, I didn't even see I my didn't bait. Either. That was a good catch. Yeah, I didn't even see like my, my lure. <laughs> of course Trey is listening. So for those of you who don't know, Trey just called and said he's on the way down here too, and he's bringing the boat, so that's good. That's gonna be so also, we uh, I refuse to give up on catching a snakehead today. I refuse. I lost what is in the top three biggest snakeheads I've ever, not just caught, but hooked in my life. Uh, and we're down here in the area right now where I have, um, like the biggest one I ever hooked is down here in this area. So they are, they are very prevalent down here. Um, we've got one species so far off the list. Both of us have a couple peacocks. Uh, snakehead and largemouth are on the hit list, and then anything in between that is just a bonus. So let's get to it. Never again will I find a snakehead and show it to you because you just prove that you lose them. That, hey, you know, I can't even be mad about that because that's 100% accurate. Oh my god, bro, stop! Stop. 
there's one sitting right here. Yep, I sure did. What's that? Where? That? Where? At the point. At the end of that rock. Oh, I don't know. Peacock? Uh, mine cichlids? I don't know. What's well, peacock? Is it? Catch it. Oh, God. But see if you can catch this. it off the dock. Oh, those are mine cichlids. Here you go, watch, watch. Watch, are you, yeah. like angle your GoPro to work. Oh. They're tilapia. <laughs> Look at that. It. That is ridiculous. That this is insane. actually a, uh, it's called, I think it's a spotted tilapia, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that. Crazy looking fish. Like crazy, crazy looking fish. Insane. So that's the second species, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's a dinner plate right there. Eat it, TJ. Uh, I'm probably good on that. Yeah, I just really want a snakehead and some largemouth for real, but all right, buddy. <laughs> that was wild. Did you see how red its eyes were? Yeah. That was crazy. TJ, what's that on that rock? Snake kid, watch out. Angle it on me. You're behind it. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, I'm tangled. Where am I tangled? No, 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 no. That is a snake here. What is that? Is that a is that a stick, or is that moving? Babe. I don't think it's a snakehead. You don't think so or you know it's not? It looks too flat. It don't have no fins on it. Yeah, I think you're fishing for something that's not alive. It's moving though, right? No, you're moving it. I ain't moving that, am I? Yeah, that's, that's a piece of wood <laughs> oh my god that's how bad i'm tripping today that is a piece of wood that i just fished for <laughs> that, oh is, god, I'm tripping. that is hilarious that is insane that's a funny funny business keep going babe. keep going hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> Sloppy, 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 sloppy. Big bass right there, though. What just came out the water right there? Huh? I don't know. I that, usually it's sloppy that do that. Because we were too far for a snakehead to see us right there. Well, I'm a uh, 04 three today possibly four on snakeheads that's okay though what right there tj we're literally right there in front of you. right there give me two seconds to see it right there it's curled around or is that, that little baby thing i didn't know snakehead oh. this little thing right here oh dang i was an employee <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to waste my time on that baby one, no way. Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah, that, I mean, that would have been cool. <laughs> but anyways, I'm 0 for 4 today. And uh, one of those L, one of those L's. is from Dad. Probably the biggest snake out of my life. But it's okay. Let's see if we can catch it. 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 Let's see
okay, because we'll get them. We'll get there. We're not leaving until we get one. Got something. Oh, is that a large one? Oh, let's go. Stop. Let's go, baby. Species number three. Hey. <laughs> Species number three. I'm kind of jealous. I, yeah, I just straight up pitched it in front of the drain because I know snakeheads like to sit in front of drains. Species number three, large mouth. I needed to catch mm. that fish. God, dude, That's you smell good. so good right now. Thank you so much for that, little buddy. I'm about to push you in the Let's water. Let's go. Species number three. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh my God, right there, right there. Back up. I knew that was a snakehead. Oh no. Did it see you? No, I, I put it on his noggin. It looked like a stick. And then I was like, okay, there's no way that's a stick. And then I just I like I just kinda hit him with it. And he, he swam off. Golly man. I'm so bad at snakehead fishing. Drop your thing in front of the drain. Like you gotta go go to the drain and drop it. Because this is like there's so much grass and rock right there. in the drain there you go just like that oh there you go oh. no shot oh it's a snake that's a snakehead that's a snakehead snake walking this I'll way just... you should have put him that drain oh lord jesus over seven boys over seven we went from being over three to over seven in less than seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. And the other one's right behind. Yeah. Him. Dang. Hey, I mean, I wish you you would catch them. I, that's a good. Both of those are good, solid largemouth. Private property and there's no fishing. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, you don't have to be rude. Oh, let's go. What Bro, just... what was that? I have no idea. I was just walking and passing. Hmm. <laughs> Crazy. Something out there. Some birds. Come here, phone. Oh, you got two of them right there. I don't. Oh, I see them now. One, two. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice one. There we go. Oh, 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 Oh. Yeah, it's a big bass. Snakehead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They got all kinds of crazy teeth and everything. You can eat these. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pure white meat. Oh, yeah. I don't like to eat them, but <laughs> you can eat them. God, I haven't caught one of these in a long time. Wow. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Beauty right there. Big old snake here. Look. <laughs> that thing is arm length. Look at that. Golly. He bit the fire out of me too. But all right, well, we finally got a snake hit. Well, so the GoPro's died and I didn't get your catch. Oh no. Okay, well, we'll try to do that again, but yep. <laughs> Snake kid down. <laughs> Back he goes. Well spoken. All right, boys. Well, we uh, we just walked up on a snakehead that was uh, behind these people's house. And like I fished here, I fish here all the time. I've been fishing here with Norm Trey, <laughs> Ryan Esquerdo, uh, Mike Chandler, UFC fighter. I've, I've fished here tons. And I always talk to the peop those people. They're like, they have like a a French accent. I think they're from somewhere in uh, Cabanada. Cabanada. I'm geeking right now. Canada. But uh, anyways, I didn't want to like ruin their like little barbecue vibe type thing they had going on. So I caught it real quick and got it back real quick. But I am one, if I'm not mistaken, one for 11 on snakeheads today. 
that's how hard it is to catch those fish like it's not something it's not easy it's not easy they, they spook so easy when they're gone they're gone if they see you before you see them you're just toast but uh anyways we got like the tail end of that catch so what i'm gonna do is re-rig my rod because i had to catch that one on april's new bait caster combo but i'm gonna re-rig my rod and uh we're gonna go see if we can find one more to catch before we lose some daylight. Well, don't look like we're getting bait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back home to the middle of nowhere in Northern Florida. The trip went very good, except for the last part of the video, we picked Trey up and we attempted to go fish three different piers. We tried the Juno Beach Pier, we tried the Lake Worth Pier, and I believe it was the either Delray Beach or Boynton Beach, one of those, whatever pier that is. Well, I was like, okay, I really wanna get some pier fishing in, incorporated in this video. So the other day, April and myself went to the, though we are back home and not down there, we still wanted to like catch fish to make the video good for you guys. So we go to the Pensacola Beach Pier and it's closed since the middle of March. It's closed for maintenance and they have no idea when it's gonna reopen. So, unfortunately, no pier fishing in this video, but, but, it's picking up. I just talked to my buddy, uh, Bearded Brad, the other day, and he said the salt water's getting really good, so we're gonna go dabble, dab, dabble off into some salt water stuff here soon. But with that said, I have to go to bed because I am meeting Norm in Oklahoma at five o'clock tomorrow morning to go, actually, I can't say what we're doing. We're doing something for Norm. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. That was a really cool experience. What did you think? What did you think about the... Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, TJ. You didn't tell me. <laughs> what did you think about the trip? It was terrible. It was terrible. It was good. I loved it. Good. Okay. Well, like I said at the beginning of the video, 5,000 likes on this video, and we'll do it again, but we'll let a stranger pick where we go and maybe they'll pick colorado so we can go skiing i'll ski you fish we're both gonna fish anyways love you guys catch you on the next adventure peace